Ibarra will check in. Just on cue, freshman for senior. It's kind of what you need right now. Three minutes to go. Let's get some leadership out there. Yeah, you've got to imagine this lineup's going to stay about the same. The next five minutes, maybe see Tariq Thompson a little bit sitting on the bench with four fouls, I believe. Ferrari now taking the ball up off the inbound from Peterson. Finds Lara. Swings it to Taylor. Finds it back to Peterson. Takes it to the hoop, leaves it a little short. Big rebound by Cherry, and the putback by Tayshawn Cherry. Dominant rebound there, a dominant rebound by Cherry. The officials now gonna call double foul on Tayshawn, I believe, and Foothills Christian. And Coach Hop looking at Tayshawn to say, hey, we had this happen last, last game, keep your cool. And I will wait for the call here from yep. MC Kudal. Coach but I'm very concerned, but I guess there was no announcement, so I, believe they, I guess they let it go. Maybe they let it go. Just a, just a, it, nothing ever happened. Don't worry about it. Two-point lead, looking to extend it to four. Hands with the drive, no good. Lara with the rebound, looking for the outlet. He pushes it. He finds the lane and goes in against Baldado, going to the stripe for two. Coast to coast, gets the rebound, takes it down. He's looking at Tayshawn. The defense knows that. He wants to dish it off to him, but you know what? Sometimes you got to go to the hole. He went to the hole, he got fouled, and now it's up to the big fella here to make some free throws. 16 points on the evening for Josue. Lara missed his last two free throws. This one up and good. Little retribution there. Sorry, he missed his last one free throw on the additional three-point opportunity. That's this a next foul. One to tie the game with 2.28 to go. Big all-star kid from Instituto Mexico, Tijuana, Baja, California. Can't get the second one to go. Back on defense are the Saints. Jalen Hands on the ball. Kimo Ferrari on the defense. Hands, stutter step through his legs, pulling up at the top of the key, leaves it a little short, and rebound secured by Taylor, I think, and Taylor's pressing. Now, 2.07 to go. That ball's blocked out of his hands. Taylor now, we're gonna get a one and one call. I believe that's on Neferet. Neferet called for the foul, and Otto Taylor will go to the line for two. Yeah, Taylor a little lucky on that sequence. Went up for the shot, got blocked, came back down, tried to go up again. The ball got knocked out of his hand, took a dribble again, and then finally got pushed and uh, is now at the free throw line. Has just tied this game up at 62. Little, one more to go. Little bail out there. Otto Taylor taking advantage. Gets the front end of the one and one to go. The big one again to break the tie for the Saints is good. Bingo. Gotta love it. Two minutes, you're up by one. It's really anybody's game, especially when there's Jalen Hands on the court. Foothills Christian looking to take back the lead. On the drive, double team with the kiss off the glass. Whoa. That was a big time drive there. Can't say anything else about that. Tayshawn actually uh, probably should have uh, blocked that and sent that into the, into the seats, but. For the student section over didn't, there. Yeah, it didn't happen, so we'll see. Saints ball. Osue Lara now with the jab step. Sends it to Cherry. The hesitation three put back by the senior Otto Taylor. Big time, four points for Otto Taylor just in a row here. Excellent offensive rebound. No block out by Foothill Christians. A nice little right-handed tip back into the bucket. Everybody working hard for victory. You gotta love it. You know, two, the tale of two rebounding teams here. In talking to Coach Hobbs before this, when he said we're gonna we're gonna stop Jalen Hands from scoring, we're gonna tire him out, and we're gonna get more rebounds. And Foothills Christian, who got obliterated on the rebound end in the previous matchup, saying we've gotta we've gotta stop them from getting second chance opportunities and give ourselves a couple extra offensive boards. They did that so well in the first half through that third quarter and now a couple possessions not boxing out and giving up easy put back points. It's all about effort now. That was beautiful offensive rebound. You know they've got a minute and 22 left. You got to give what you got. So 122 to go. Both teams in the double bonus on the next foul. St. Augustine administration, Deacon Hardick in the background. Gene Shaw, that is a all-star cast right there. 
Last time in Doherty Gymnasium. Coach Linville and Doc surrounding the MC, Mr. Kudal. Jalen Hands now, minute 14 to go. 25 on the shot clock. He's double teamed. Sends out to Nafaretti. Back to Hands. Interesting that Saints uh, took out Kimo and they have uh, Tariq Thompson on uh, Jalen now. A little quicker, maybe. Lara guarding Baldado. Nine on the shot clock. Winding down. Open lane for Hands, who throws one up and leaves it short. But the rebound by Nafaretti. Believe it's going to be a foul against Otto Taylor. Nice hustle play on the offensive board by Jaron Nafaretti. Absolutely. Everybody was hustling for that one. Just fortunately, uh, Foothills uh, got that rebound. Otto Taylor hitting the floor. 50 50 ball. Could have gone either way. Everybody's on the floor, but in the end, Jaron Nafaretti on the line for two. Down by one. 47 seconds. First one's good. He's got ice in his veins. Yeah, that was a pressure packed free throw right there. You got to love it. You want somebody to win it. You don't want anybody to lose it, you know? That was a great free throw by the young man. Nafaretti to take the lead. He does. Stone cold at the line in the biggest moment of his career. You've got to believe. 43 seconds, about 12 seconds in between the game and shot clock. Otto Taylor now keeps it himself. Working on Nafaretti. Nice job behind the back and up. And it's oh, good. What a drive down the lane by Otto Taylor, the senior, taking over. Beautiful shot. Fantastic. Jalen Hands now driving, but timeout is called. Shot clock, Eddie, is turned off. 67-66 in favor of the Saints. Ball in the hands of the Foothill Christian Knights. And we Coach, have Coach Bradley with the timeout. What, what's <laughs> it's only a 30-second timeout, too, so they're going to be back on the court here shortly. What a way, what a way to end the, 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 the enormous history here at Doherty Gymnasium in a game like this. Absolutely incredible. St. Augustine students running out onto the court trying to get these fans excited. We'll make a quick note. Point Loma was hosted by the St. Augustine Saints in the Varsity Open Division soccer match just outside of these doors earlier today. Went into overtime, tied 0-0, and went into penalty kicks, still tied 0-0 after the 15 minutes of golden goal opportunity in PK's Michael Ingram, the senior goalkeeper, with three of four big-time penalty saves to project and propel his team into the CIF San Diego section Open Division Championship game happening this weekend. That's behind us. 24.6 seconds is in front of us. One point separates the champions. Saints. It's, go ahead. Nope. Baldado, oh my. If you can make a statement on offense, that's how you make it on defense right there. Tayshawn Cherry, weak side help, big time block. Oh my God, Tayshawn came over like a monster and just blocked that ball. Saints got the loose ball and now Jack Peterson's at the line shooting two. What excellent defense and excellent hustle by Tayshawn. Jack Peterson. Two for two from the line so far. Senior, he'd love to nail down these two. Either way, it's going to be a one possession game. It will be two free throws here, I believe, on the double bonus. Peterson, the senior. First one, rims out, left it a little short. It's a good stroke. Halfway in, halfway out. Is there a draft in here? I think somebody left the door open. <laughs> I don't know. Jack Peterson at the line for his second. Nailed second it. one's good. Two point advantage, 17.6. Find Jalen Hands. I think three statesmen should be on him. The, he's got the ball. He swings it to the top of the key. Baldado for the lead. Oh. Seniors coming up big. Three seconds left. Peterson. Oh! Big time contact underneath the rim. He's going to go to the line for two. 
So Baldado with the big three, he hustled back, got up in the key to block the shot of Jack Peterson. And Peterson, with the fake shot, blows past him, but runs into the legs of Baldado in the air. And I think you're right. The senior for another chance. With 1.9 seconds left. And what made that play was Jose Lada smart enough to take the ball out of bounds, throw it the length of the court, time running out. Peterson going to the hoop. Gonna get a shot up with two seconds left and he gets hammered. You can't even you can't even coach that. Josue Lara knowing in his mind the time clock saying, I got the ball, I need to get it up the court. It's in the hands of Peterson. Jack Peterson, who went one of two in his previous run at the line, and in the third quarter hit two of two. And they're gonna they're gonna talk it over with the medical staff. Oh, timeout there. We got a full timeout by Saints, Coach Hop. But if Peterson is is in a situation where he can't take those because he hit his head on the ground or whatever, then they get to pick somebody to come out and take those shots. So I I don't know. I didn't see any medical staff attending directly to him. They took a quick look. Nothing too special. And and we, you know, we we called it from the beginning of the game. We said. You know, it's going to come down to the last shot, and, and here we are. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, strategy also. You know, uh, it's kind of like your own team icing uh, your own player. Coach Hop calling a timeout. Uh, I'm not questioning what he's doing or anything like that, but Peterson probably needed a minute or two to regain his composure. Um, and then also to set up in case, uh, in case he doesn't uh, make both of them or only makes one. What are we going to do with 1.9 seconds left? Make sure somebody's on Jalen hands where he's not getting some sort of shot. But hopefully Jack just can knock down two and uh, this game could be over. San Augustine Saints looking for a berth in that final two shots here from the line for Peterson. Foothills Christian Knights up by one. Two shots coming from Peterson. First one. Got it. Nails. Nails, and now a timeout by Coach Brad Leaf wanting to talk some strategy if and when this next shot is made or missed. Oh, my God. 69-69, 1.9 left. Unbelievable game. It's unfortunate that somebody's going to have to lose, but you know what? Everybody's seen exactly what they came to see, and it was an excellent high school basketball game. And you know what? Somebody will have to lose, but we might get a little extra free free basketball here. I'm not saying anything, but if the score stands as it is now, and Peterson can't sink this last one. John? OT? The only thing I can say is I love your positivity. I just love like watching. Let's give everybody a little bit night. more. Yeah. Let's give everybody it's a little bit more. It's not about me. It's about everybody else. And everybody's watching this game, and everybody's excited. Don't want it to end. There's Peterson at the line. Jack Peterson. He'll remember this the rest of his uh, lifetime. 405 from the line, the ball's up, oh. and he leaves it short. That one's missed. Long shot, hits the cheerleaders, whistle on the court. I believe there was a timeout there called by Coach Brad Leaf. He was asking for one at least. We're gonna have to settle, settle this out. Good thing, good thing we have our inside man on the other side getting some, getting some information for us. Coach Leaf saying he did. He's saying he did not call a timeout. Coach Leaf saying he did not call a timeout. Oh. Unbelievable! And we've got a technical foul. It's. You've got to figure out, try to figure out what's going on here. Coach Brad Lee. This is, this is embarrassing. Coach Brad Lee. Embarrassing. Has won himself, has won his team a timeout. Now he is, he's actually ejected. There's no time on the clock. A technical foul has been called. Coach Brad Leaf is being sent off the court. Well, he... What can you say? It's just so unfortunate. 69 69. The kids played so hard the whole game. And now I, Saints is going to hit. 
I hope they, they figure this out because I, I don't believe that Foothills Christian did call a timeout. There was no timeout called, but the referees heard timeout, and if, if it was somebody saying timeout, it was either Saints or Foothills Christian. Coach Bradley said we did not call right. a timeout. If it was St. Augustine that called a timeout, they have zero left, and that will be a technical foul against them. Referees discussing it now. You'd hate to see a game like this finished at the line on a technical foul, whether it's on the coach, whatever it is. High school basketball is not about Ex making free throws at the line, and that's not what this game has been about. Exactly. I thought the game was over. We would shoot technical fouls. To start and, the next And we would overtime. start the overtime with, uh, depending on how many free throws we make a lead. But if he called a timeout, the team didn't have any timeouts, then we're going to get a shot to win it in regulation. So the referee's explaining on and the far side. Otto Taylor is lining up at the free throw line, so it looks like they're going to be called for calling a timeout with no timeouts left. So trying to sort this out here. It's pandemonium here. Uh, it's Things are kind of out of control, so we're going to need a second we, here to... We want to get the, the call correct on the court, and they're explaining, referees are explaining it to the officials and administrators. Everybody's kind of trying to figure it out right now, and two technical fouls have been called. But will we shoot? The, oh, they have put 1.5 seconds back on the clock. What? So there's an opportunity to win this in regulation. It's the referee's judgment. So right now, it's still anybody's game. I, I like that. I like that this game's not going to end on a on a technical foul. It's going to be two free throws for both sides. So 1.5 on the clock. We're going to have six free throws. Uh, certainly, I'm sure he'll be able to make one. So it, it will be. It's six free throws for Otto Taylor. Jalen Hands has been ejected, and he's heading to the locker room. So Otto Taylor now to break the tie. The first one's up. It's no good. So there's six free throws, and then Saints is going to get the ball. Do you think he could go over six? There's always a chance. Oh, my he's, goodness. He's 0 for 2 at the moment. Oh, my goodness. To be goodness. honest, I'd hate to see it end this way. But then it's a lopsided affair either way. Got it. The third one goes in. Saints have the lead 50 to 69. 70 69, Saints. Two more free throws. Oh, my goodness. Fourth one is no good. Either way, they're going to get the ball after this. So it's. Three free throws to go. The fourth one goes in. Wow. I've never, ever seen this in 45 years of covering uh, basketball. So we got a three-point advantage as he sinks the fifth and sixth ones. 1 1.5 seconds on the clock. Josue Lara with the ball in hand. Got a timeout called on the court. Not the, not the way you'd like to see this one end after 32 minutes of hard-fought basketball. No, not at all. It was very, very unfortunate. What a great, what a great game, great effort by all the players on the court. And then to have your coach just come out of control like that is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I hope there's some administrators here from Foothill Christians because that's certainly not the example that you want to set to anybody. I mean, I've just never seen that. And I trust me, I've coached for 30 years, been around basketball for a long, long time, and just really, really sad uh, to see exactly uh, what Coach Lee did in, in, in that moment in the heat of the battle. Very, well, very disappointing. Saints, Jack Peterson, the senior, misses that last free throw with 1.9 seconds. That ties the game, that keeps the game tied, excuse me. And now Foothills Christian has the ball in hand, so it's it's like you got the ball, whether they thought you called a timeout or not. You'd hope, like you said, you'd be a little more level-headed to that. Either way, 
Uh, it's a, it's a three-point game. Josue Lara on the inbound pass. He sends it to Cherry, who I believe was fouled immediately. No call made. Uh, the pit goes wild in Saints. I, I want to make sure we get this right here because I think the game's over. Game over. The 72, game's over. 69 Saints. 72-69 St. Augustine High School over Foothills Christian the Knights. And we, we need a break to kind of wrap this one up. So we're going to